Hey, it's Andy with Reverb. You know, we like to get a little spooky around this time of year. So I thought no better time to talk about Mr. Tony Iommi and his spine chilling tones from Black Sabbath. Specifically, I'll be talking about 70s era Sabbath. And when people ask me about pedals to use for this sound, it's always followed by what kind of fuzz, like a big muff or a fuzz face. Well, the answer is no fuzz at all. If you're at all familiar with Tony Iommi, you know he has a close association with Laney amplifiers, and he was playing those early supergroup amps from the very beginning. Much like Brian May and Rory Gallagher were doing at the time using treble boosters to sculpt their sound into tube amps, so was Tony Iommi. He was using a Dallas Rangemaster, not a fuzz. And this is actually a really interesting concept because it's such a heavy sound, yet this pedal cuts a lot of low end off. I don't have a super group with me today, but I do have a couple of treble boosters to show you. And I'm playing through a Victory Amps Sheriff 22 to give me that British foundation tone that I could just easily push into overdrive with these treble boosters. In the intro, I showed you that Black Country Customs Tony Iommi signature boost from Laney. And this was a really interesting treble booster that is based on his own pedal that he uses live on stage. Unlike an original Range Master, the TI Boost gives you some extra controls, specifically low and high EQ and a three-way mid switch, plus a lot of gain on tap and volume to push your amp. And gear aside, a key component in getting Tony Iommi's signature sound is to tune your guitar to C sharp. Let's go back even farther to where he was using an SG with P90 pickups and just standard tuning. Of course, he was still using his Laney amplifiers and a treble booster. Now I've switched over to the Naga Viper from Catlin Bread, and you've seen me use this one before. It's a silicon-based, you know, treble booster with its extra controls to give you more bass running through the circuit. So I figured with this Tony Iommi sound, I'll just let a little bit more bass to beef up the low end.
Well, there you have it, a really simple recipe on how to get those classic Tony Iommi sounds from the 70s. Some other treble boosters I want to recommend are the Vino Boost you might know from Analog Man, as well as the Greer Moonshot, which is actually a germanium-based transistor, so it actually has a softer attack. Of course, you could find the Lane ETI Boost and that Catlin Bread Naga Viper right here on Reverb as well. Thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Boom.